something good It's good And then it's kind of fun It's like staying up after bedtime When you're still just a kid Your love is two for one It's sweet And then it's kind of fun It's like a whole lot of good things Roll up into one Can it like Your love is a kind of special treat Oh, personal stash And I'm saying Welcome back guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for checking in again. Um, so as the title states of this video, planning out a shoot from beginning to end. So the video you just watched, I wanted to put that together so you guys could see what effectively planning out a shoot, whether it be a photo shoot or a video shoot, how it can all come together. Um, so this shoot, me and Chris, I'll make sure to tag him in the description. Um, but it was something, it was a concept that I came up with maybe about a month ago, a month or two ago when we did this. We actually shot this back beginning, you know, the end of January. Um, but we had kind of, I already had this concept in mind in December. So reached out to him, um, we got everything together. I had the location set, so, but I'll get more into that as I talk about these things. So the first step that I always say when it comes to planning a photo shoot is what's the concept? What's the idea behind your shoot? So what are you doing the shoot for? Um, so whenever you're taking pictures, nine times out of 10, it's not just just because um, if you have some purpose, you have some reason behind it. And when people reach out to me, want to set up a photo shoot, I'll always ask, what's the concept? What's the idea behind the shoot? Because our job as a photographer or videographer is to bring your vision to life. Um, and that's really with any type of creative thing, um, getting a logo made, what's the idea behind it? Um, to, kind of, to make sure we bring your vision completely to life. I will always ask, what's the concept? That's actually a required field on my website that you have to fill out. So I make sure that I can service what you're looking for. Um, so some people just say just because, but nobody honestly just takes pictures just because, unless you're like some social media influencer or something like that. So that's a different topic. But always have some type of concept in mind or some idea of what you're wanting to do. So step two, after having your concept in mind is getting inspired. Finding things that can that brings your vision to life. So looking up ideas. So some of the biggest platforms you can use, Instagram hashtags, Pinterest is a huge one. Um, even Facebook. I see some things on Facebook sometimes, or some people tag me in things that I'll save for later on that I may want to use. But everybody has seen something that made them, that gave them the idea, like, hey, I want to do a shoot similar to this. So there was some type of inspiration. Now I'm not saying that you have to have the whole thing all together, but there should be some pictures, something that you've seen that inspired you to want to do this. Just about every concept that I come up with is something that inspires me. I get inspired a lot from music, music videos. Um, I have a few photographers that I follow that really inspire me. So take the time, get inspired, look those things up. That's something else I always ask. You know, have you looked up anything on Pinterest? Have you found any ideas? Like send me some ideas of what you're thinking. Now I'm not gonna exactly replicate that. I'm gonna put my own twist on it. I'm gonna put G Vision's twist on it, but make sure you have something that I can go off of or, or something to help me figure out what it is you're wanting. And then step three, plan ahead. So you know your birthday, your 30th birthday is coming up May 15th. Don't hit your photographer up the week before saying, hey, I wanna take my 30th birthday pictures, but I wanna do something different. I wanna, I, I wanna, I don't wanna do the basic balloons and confetti and stuff, I wanna do something different. Now you have to give us time to come up with stuff like that, especially if you're wanting to do something out of the box, especially if you're wanting to do that, do something that may go viral. Like it takes a lot of planning to make these shoots come together. So this video photo shoot that I just did with Chris, I had the concept in mind December. We didn't do this shoot until end of January, which still was 
press for time, but I already had a uh, location set, uh, the date that it was going to be. Like I had everything in line. I honestly just needed a model um, and somebody who fit the description of what I was looking for. So I literally had a clear vision of everything I wanted. So it all came together. It was already planned ahead. So make sure you're giving your photographer, your um, videographer, somebody that's creating for, the, for you, make sure you give them time because like somewhere like me where I still work my nine to five, so I'm still working my regular job on top of doing my photography and videography. Um, so give people time to come up with something, especially if you wanted something out the box. Just, just plan things out, give things time to come together because you may need to change locations. Many things can happen. You could have, you could get a dress in that doesn't fit. You all kind of things. Just make sure you're planning ahead. I keep saying it, plan ahead, plan ahead, plan ahead. So I'm gonna end the video here. So if you have any comments, make sure to comment down below. If you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to be notified whenever I post. Um, also, um, I, maybe about a month ago, a few weeks, um, my print shop is now open. Um, so make sure to head over to my website, purchase a print, you can get 10% off right now. Um, so until next time, peace out.